Hey guys, it's Kendall. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be showing you how I made this cover-up skirt. I wouldn't quite call it a tutorial because I'm not giving you... Well, no, it is a tutorial. It's not a pattern. So I just want to clear that up before we get into the video. But yeah, of course, subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other crochet videos. And check out my crochet Instagram, my Etsy page. All that is down in the description. So I am starting off with a slip knot, and I actually don't know how many I chained. I believe my customer was a size medium, but I just wrapped the chain around my waist to make sure that it will fit. You can also pull up the United States inches, um, inches to like letters, and then use a ruler and measure it to see how long it should be I'll leave more information down in the description box but now I'm just going to make sure that my chain has no twists in it and that it is one straight line and I'm gonna connect the first chain to the last chain to create a circle and then I'm going to have double crochet all the way around and again i'm not sure exactly how many rounds or rows i'm gonna do i did get a one and one fourth inch elastic so i guess enough to cover the elastic and then be able to flip over it to create the top of the skirt but if you've been following me for a while you know i'm not really too fond of like counting and measuring because i did not learn to crochet like that and sometimes i think it kind of stunts the creativity so and plus, another thing is that we're all not the same size, so even if you're a medium, there are different sizes and different shapes of mediums. So, um, yeah, I'll leave the information down in the description box and hopefully that helps you. If not, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help. But yeah, I'm just going to continue with my half double crochets all the way around until I have enough rows to cover my elastic. And this is the elastic that I got. I got it from Walmart. Um, and again, it is a one and one fourth inch sport elastic. I don't even think it matters just as long as you have an elastic and I just prefer the thick kind. So I'm going to do the same thing with the elastic, make sure that it's a full loop, a circle, and I'm going to, it doesn't come in a circle. So I had to, um, sew the two ends together to create the full band. So once you have enough rows to cover your elastic, um, the top and the bottom, you want to insert your elastic inside. Um, you could just insert it inside the top so that you can fold the, um, the bottom portion or the top portion over. And then you want to sew it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making sure that it's all aligned um, and that I'll be able to fold it, that I have enough rows or enough chains. To cover the entire thing um, and then a little bit for my sewing um, chains to go into and then I'm just making sure that you know it's not too loose it won't be too tight that it's like just perfect and then once it is just perfect or I feel like I have a, a good starting place I took my um, yarn with a sewing needle and I'm just going to enclose the elastic inside of the the rows or the chains and one tip that I could give you a mistake that I made initially was sewing too tight that you don't want to um, defeat the purpose of having an elastic so you don't want to sew it too loose you don't want to sew it too tight to where you don't get that stretch that I'm showing you there so once you feel that the stretch is perfect you know she'll be able to slide it on and off Easily you want to prepare another slip knot so you can go in with your um, Double crochets all the way around. I'll be continuing with my size K Crochet hook and then I'm going to go in with something a little bit more chunky, but for now we're just going to use the size K and And you can take those straggly ends you can snip them off with a pair of scissors or you can crochet them along into your work so that you don't have any yarn sticking out and that is just neat and clean so I'm gonna take my hook and my yarn and again double crochet all the way around with my smaller crochet hook so that I have enough wiggle room for my 
fatter or chunkier crochet hook to insert because if you try to insert the fat crochet hook into those tiny um, half double crochets I found that it didn't work well it would just be way too difficult and I child I don't have time for that Okay, so I have completed the portion of half double crochets with um, my size K crochet hook here and the elastic is inside of course and I also just completed the row of double crochets again with my size K crochet hook um, that will make it a little bit easier to go in with my, what size is this? size in crochet hook so I'm just going to create a slanted pattern and then that just includes not of course not going all the way around I'm going to crochet around till about here then stop then come back around crochet back around till about here around crochet back until, until about here and then just keep going so you just want to decrease all the way around and that's what I'm going to be doing. Hello Calypso, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so yeah, I already started crocheting all the way around and I went in with a double crochet, chain one, skip one, and then double crochet. So I didn't just double crochet all the way around. I wanted my chains or my holes there to be a little bit larger. So I chain one, skip one, and then double crochet. So here it is with me having completed half the skirt with my double crochet all the way around and a decrease. And then I'm going to show you guys where I ended off. Okay, so I am finished the skirt. And it comes down to about a triangle. Um, so I'm going to transfer back to my size K crochet hook. And I'm just going to, um, hmm, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do half double or double crochet all the way around it is going to be significantly different because this is big double crochet and I also skipped one so here this is my half double crochet all the way around then I did a double crochet all the way around with my um, size K crochet hook and then this is double crochet um, double crochet chain one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet um but do whatever you want if you just want to do double crochet instead of chain one skip one then that's fine you know whatever do your own thing um so yeah i will let you guys know depending on like what i feel like looks the best but yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just going to continue with my this um, slip knot right here. It's not really a slip knot, but this portion, and then I'm going to start here and either double crochet or half double crochet all the way around till I get back down. And I'll probably do it like three or four times just 
so that it kind of cleans up the edge and makes it look a little bit more neat. So I did go in with a double crochet with my smaller hook. So guys, we have done a lot of different stitches here. Half double crochet, single crochet, double crochet with the end hook, double crochet with the K hook. So I'm just going to do a little bit more cleaning up of the edge and then I'm going to snip the yarn and be done with this. So I usually go in with the string that's left, the little scraggly end, and I tie it to the inside of my work, whatever I'm working on. But of course this time we're going to tie it into the skirt. So I'm just taking the end, making sure that it's not left hanging. And I don't like to cut it because, um, you know, I never want things to unravel. They shouldn't anyway, but yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just securing that in on the inside of the skirt, and then we are finished. And that is it guys. Again, thanks so much for tuning into my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!